Hello, welcome to Coding Club. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, today I thought it would be really cool to go and look at 3D printers. So 3D printers are kind of like normal printers, but instead of printing ink on paper, what they do is they take plastic and they just do layers and layers on plastic. So instead of just printing out a book or words or maybe your homework, you can instead make anything really, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can make. Um, and they don't have to be plastic. Like some, some big companies have 3D printers that print out of food or metal. But plastic's really easy for people to use, so that's what uh, that's what most people do printing, three D printing with. So now I'm gonna go onto the computer and I'm gonna look at one of the programs that lets you three D print. <laughs> okay, so here's a program that lets. Uh, Let's you tell the 3D printer what to do. So this is a little bit of what the 3D printer might look like. And you want to start by taking picking the thing that you want to print. So normally you can print things like 3D models. So let's say from a video game, you might have Let's see, what do I have here? I have a, a Bulbasaur from Pokemon, if anyone knows what that is. And this is just a, a pot for plants. So you see, it's just a, an object. Or you can even... Um, you can even do pictures, although that's not as good. Because pictures, they... They just look really weird. So with pictures, it just makes it spiky if it's lighter. And... Yeah. So basically, if uh, a color is supposed to be lighter, then it'll be like a hill, and if it's supposed to be darker, it'll be a valley. So if you look at it from the top, I guess it looks fine. And if you look at it from the side, it just looks like a bunch of mountains. So that's not, not the best, unless I guess if you wanted to make a picture. But a normal print is probably better for that. So we're going to look at, we're going to try to print, let's see. Um, so I found a, a phone holder. It's also a keychain. So it looks pretty cute, I think. It's a dragon. And we're going to try to print this today. So you can see uh, here there's infill, which says how much or uh, how full it is. So if you put it up to 100%, then it would be like a solid block of plastic. But if you do 10%, then it's not full the entire way. And this is just so that you can save a bit of material. And so it's not as heavy. So if I click prepare, the computer program looks at this and it tries to figure out what instructions it's going to have to tell the 3D printer. So we just have to wait for it to load. And now it's done. So then here we can go into layer and we can see what it's actually going to print. So this is the what we call an extruder, and it's the part that actually uh, 
it spills out plastic. So if we go all the way to the beginning, because it goes layer by layer, this is what it's going to start with. So actually we can probably click play and we can see first it's going to go and make a ring around it. And this is just called a skirt. It's to make sure that everything's working properly because this is a machine and sometimes it doesn't work. So if something's not working, the skirt's just there so you can test it basically. So you see the machine's going to do that and then after that it's going to start and it can only do a little bit at a time. So first it's going to go and draw the outline. Let me scoot this up. So it just does the outline and it goes again and again. And you see it just has to go one layer at a time, slowly building up. So like if we look over here, this is what it looks like on layer 49. It's just going to do this. And you can see as it gets taller, it ends up on the highest levels. It only has to do a little bit. So one thing for 3D printing is um, because it's doing it layer by layer, sometimes uh, it has problems. So let's see, do I have a good example? Um, so let's say I had something like this. So this is a dragon reading a book. So if I tried to prepare this, we would see that um, this might take a little while. Hmm. Okay, are you done? Good. So if we go to layer here, we're going to see that when you try to go to, let's say, over here, when it's doing these layers, this part over here, when it does that layer, it's not building on top of everything. So. If you tried to print this, it would try to put plastic here, but the plastic would be floating in midair. You see all of this one? This plastic, it's building on top of itself. So it doesn't have that problem. Some of these are called overhangs over here. And because the printer can't just print on top of nothing, normally you have to add support. So support's basically just it's like a, a wall that just we can just build on top of. So let's see what happens if we try adding supports to this. And the supports aren't they're something that you can try to do on your own, but most of the time you can just let the computer program figure out how to put the supports. So now we're going to see what it looks, what the computer, what the 3D printer is going to print with all of the supports. Oh, um, here. Let's do everything. Yeah. So you see here, the computer program's like, oh, when I'm doing this guy's face, 
I'm going to need to make a wall here so that I can print on top of this wall. And same with all of these parts on the wings. So it gets a lot more complicated if you want to do something like this. But if we go back to uh, the phone holder that I, I want to print today, you see it's a lot more simpler. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You see there's nothing that that's floating. So you don't need to put any support and that makes it a lot easier. So now we're going to go and I'm going to make a little video of uh, the 3D printer actually printing it. So this is a 3D printer. Um, it looks like this. And we can see over here. This is the thing that uh, spits out the plastic. So the plastic comes in rolls <laughs> that look like this. And it's like a string made out of plastic. So then that just goes in the back over here. And it just feeds it up through the tube all the way into here. And then this is where it melts. And you see there's a fan here to cool it down. And it comes out of these nozzles over here. So, let's start this.
And so here's the 3D print when it's done. Um, uh, normally I need to scrape it off. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit stringy, but I think it came out pretty well. Yeah. 